It's Vlogmas time for you and me, 2023, with Disney <laughs> Devotee. Happy Holidays, pals. Hi, you pals. Disney Devotee here. Welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. Yay! I hope you're having a very wonderful holiday season. And you might have guessed by the title of this video and these little guys right here, what we are going to do in today's video. But just in case, let me tell you. <laughs> we found these really cool nutcrackers at Joann's Fabric. So, you know, they're very just simple wood ones that you can paint and personalize yourself. So I thought, you know what? It would be so fun to get a couple and decorate them like Disney characters, Disney-fy them, as we like to say on this channel. <laughs> so that is what we are going to do today. We're going to make Disney Nutcrackers. I'm so excited. We have our paint brushes, we've got our palette, we've got some acrylic paints. And we're just going to go to town and have a really good time. I am going to try to do kind of like suggestive of Elsa from Frozen on my Nutcracker. And then Mrs. Disney Devotee is going to paint the other one. And I think she's going to try to do maybe Belle from Beauty and the Beast. So... We're going for Disney princess vibes today, and I can't wait to see how they turn out. But the most important part really is just having fun. It's the activity itself. So there's no pressure, even if they don't turn out the greatest. What matters most is that we have a great time doing it. And I think I'm going to try to like glue some braided ribbon on the side for Elsa's braid. So I think that's going to look super cool. So let's get into it. So these are the colors I'm going to start out with or picked out that I know for sure I'm going to need for Elsa. So there is, of course, titanium white. Definitely need that. Yellow for her hair, which I'm going to mix with the white because she has a very kind of white blonde shade of hair. And, of course, we need blue because I'm going for her traditional blue gown from the first movie. But um, it's kind of a dark blue here, so I'm definitely going to add white. And I might even add a dab of green because it almost has kind of a teal color to it in some spots. But, yeah, we'll see. And of course, I'm also going to need to make like her skin color, like a very, very, very light peach color. So we'll have to play with mixing colors together. My wife has a lot more experience with like painting. She's done a lot of art classes. So I'm definitely going to um, rely on her to help me with mixing colors to get the correct shades. Um, I've definitely been way more into creating digital art, but I used to love to draw and paint, so I'm really excited this holiday season for Vlogmas especially to have the opportunity to get back into some of that kind of more hands-on traditional art. So this is going to be so much fun. And as always, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps my channel out so much and it helps you to not miss one single upload. And please comment down below if you could decorate one of these Nutcrackers. What Disney character would you choose? I would love to hear all of your creative ideas down below. Okay, you guys, the beautiful Mrs. Disney Hi. devotee is here. And she was just about to tell me what shades I need to create skin tone. And I was like, oh, wait, let me hit the record button so they know, too. <laughs> okay. So uh, skin tones can go either on the red side or on the yellow side. So you want to start with a big blob of white and then work your color one way or the other. Okay. So you can add in a little red to go your pink tone. And then you're always still going to want to add a little bit of yellow 
in there and then when you want to like tone it down to neutralize it you'll add the opposite uh, from the color wheel so that'd be oh, like cool. blue or whatever way you're leaning if it's red you're going to put a little green in it to tone it down but start with a big blob of white add in either yellow or red depending on the skin tone's initial lean and then adjust it from there all right well that's simple enough all you right. guys hopefully i i don't mess that up too bad <laughs> easy always just start out with a new blob yay okay let's start painting just looking up the photos just make sure we hit the right color so I see you've selected yours. Yes. So I'm going to do mine as Belle. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to start with this like sun yellow. So more on the uh, warm side. And so where I have this for her very, on the cold very side. light. Yes. Yeah. So I'll start with that. And then, of course, I'm going to have to mix up a brown because we don't have a brown. So the easy way to get brown is combine all the colors. And you get kind of a muddy brown. And you want to just kind of, again, you can almost think in cooler or warmer mm. so i'll mix up a brown that'll be kind of on the warm side for Belle's hair she's got warm rosy skin so that'll be kind of on the pink side and then um let's see what else so she just has kind of some gold and yellow accents so that's kind of the direction i'm going with mine cool yeah. you guys didn't know you were going to get a free art lesson today too did you art tips <laughs> You never know what you're going to learn you on this channel. You never know what we're going to be up to. Yes. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is the skin tone for the hands and the okay. face. So here All we go. Right. Here Wish we go, look, guys. So yeah, do you guys have any holiday traditions that you enjoy doing around, you know, this time of the year, whether it's painting or baking or decorating. I would love to hear in the comments down below. It's so fun to hear other people's experiences and how they celebrate the holiday season. So let me know. Yeah, I've never, I've never like done a DIY nutcracker before. So this me is going to be fun. Yeah. I always had just purchased them in the past. So this was yeah. really fun way to incorporate an activity in oh so let me do the hands too i'll move these extra brushes there and i saw that like a local art workshop place was doing a paint your own nutcracker oh. hot cocoa bar kind of deal but you know it costs like 30 bucks per person when guess what we got these both of these for under 30 dollars so Maybe I'm just a cheapskate, but like, why would I pay $30 when I can just do all that here at home yeah. and not be around other people? <laughs> yes, less stress. Yeah. It's soaked in most of it, so I'll let that be like round one, and then we'll come back in with some more. Um, another tip if you're using acrylics is don't just set your brush down to go get more tea like Mrs. Disney devotee likes to do. <laughs> Make sure you keep that brush tip wet with acrylic paint so you don't come back to a, a, a brush you have to throw away because the acrylic will just make it a big hard brick. I have learned that lesson many times unfortunately. Yep. Don't even wipe it off I just put it right in the water and I'm gonna just set yep. that there and let that just stay moist until this dries round two. And I think it's funny that like we've noticed too I, I paint like really thick and you always start very thin. Like yeah, you have we have very different, different methods. Yeah, yeah. I think these are going to be so cute. It's such a happy memory every time we pull them out. Yeah. Go easy on yourself. There's no pressure here. Like Mandy said earlier, part of it is just to enjoy painting and the bliss of just creating something that's uniquely yours. Yeah, exactly. That's what art is all about. We're making progress. And pizza. And pizza, yes. We're making, more importantly, we're making pizza. <laughs> so, it's so important. Be sure to self-care. Yes, and self-care includes pizza. Always. Come on. 
Mama Cozies. Yeah. Mm. Check so it out. I am going to look up if I, I'm assuming there's an, an Arendelle flag or Arendelle, Arendelle, I think, flag. And not a frozen fan. <laughs> so I'm going to look it up and see to maybe paint on the drum. And if not, I might paint Olaf's face. But that might be a little weird. It's I don't gonna, know. I don't know. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. It's all an experiment. But it's getting there. And, you know, like we were saying, it's just suggest yeah. suggestive of the character. Correct. So. You know, and I am going to eventually have the braid, and I think that will really, yeah, really tie it together. Like, oh, I know who that is now. You can embellish it with uh, ribbons. We're talking about yeah. ribbons and any, anything like that. It's glitter. Uh oh, somebody's pulling out the glitter sticks. Glitter. Here we go. <laughs> so it's purple and green with a yellow flower in the middle. All right. Super. Sweet. It looks really good, honey. Yay. The colors are spot on. They really are. Thanks. I'm going to do the shoulders now, and that should be those mm. those little wispy. The poofy mm, tool the poofy. or whatever. Mm -hmm. Awesome. i got to finish up the sleeves, too. So. For a pizza break. All right, so we are pulling up at Walmart so we can get some more white paint because we ran out <laughs> and we can't finish our nutcrackers without white paint. So, yeah, and we might get like some yarn and stuff like that to embellish our nutcrackers. So, we will show you when they are completed. And then, of course, uh, to finish up this Vlogmas video, we are going to do the advent calendar and see what goodie we have today. I can't wait. Okay, see you soon. Craft heaven. Craft heaven. I would wear all of these 100%. Those are so cute and little, they'd be adorable in the yard. Lights up mini. <gasps> Lights up mini. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, Stop. <gasps> mini! Yeah. And there's a Jack one too, right next to oh. it. Oh. But yeah, the Minnie Mouse one I think is the cutest by far. Super cute. Look at this. Wow. Isn't Look that at cool? That. It's $10 and it comes with 24 books. It's a great idea for wow. kids, right? Yep. It's beautiful. That. So fun. Isn't it nice? Very nice. Really cool. Super cute. Yes. This is going in the car. <laughs> Heck yeah. Boom. There it is. There it is. Here is Lego 
from the new Disney Wish. It's the castle. Some of the characters for $100. Looks pretty cool. Pretty Merch cool. before the movie. That's right. Got to advertise. Late, like uh, they were late with um, turning, turning red. red. Look at these two. <gasps> Only at oh, Walmart. The Walmart so exclusive. Cute. Very cute. Oh, and it's oh, you. Look at these Disney 100. Look at these Disney 100s. Oh, super cute. Really cute. I love it. <gasps> Look at this. The Mickey's Christmas Carol. Oh, cool. Wow. That's neat. Very That's so nice. Neat. Yeah, Disney 100 sugar cookie set. But I already have a whole bunch of stuff for making my own Disney sugar cookies. Oh, and there's cute Winnie the Pooh ones, too, if you're more into Winnie the Pooh. There you go. Oh, this would be a really good Christmas gift for the littles. How does it, what do you push to make it light up? It's this, oh, stop. Oh, my gosh. I love that. That's so oh, cool. Oh, that is Tribute so cool. Man, that looks like it would be a beast to put together, but it's so, so cool. So cool. I think we're done painting our nutcrackers. So now I'm going to add some hair for Elsa. And, and I got purple paint all over my finger. <laughs> and I also got some tool to like do like a her cape in the back. So we're gonna use some craft glue and hopefully that will work. And my wife added some pearls to her bell one and then she has some pretty trim ribbon, which I can't remember everything I showed you that we bought while we were at Walmart getting craft supplies. It was but a lot. It was a lot, but so this is mine thus far. And we'll show you, of course, better footage when it's all done. But yeah, it's coming together, you guys. We're having so much fun. Look at that. Super cute that yeah, way. Yeah, that's how her braid is. So. Okay, there it is. We have a braid and it's long, Ooh. but I kind of like it. It's like really dramatic. Look at that. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. That looks good, you guys. I'll that show you when it's great. done. First, I gotta glue it on her head. What if you could put it on Oh, you're so smart. Could maybe open it up a little bit. I love it. Here are the finished nutcrackers. So I'm really, really excited and pleased with how they both turned out. Let me give you a little more close-up view of both of them here. So here is my Elsa Nutcracker. I really like how the braid looks with it. I think that really ties it together and tells you who it's supposed to be. And then it's a little hard to see on camera, but I added a kind of glitter tool cape. And then I tried to do the Arendelle flag on the drum there. And you can't see as well here either, but there's tons of like glitter, um, well, on lots of it, but especially on the drumsticks and down here to make it look like it's snow. So there's my Elsa. And then here is my wife's Belle. Isn't it beautiful? Like she does such a good job with the different colors and shading to really give it dimension. She put um, the rose on the drum. I love that. It turned out beautiful. And then look at the beautiful pearls along there and the beautiful like gold, you know, like the um, gathering on Belle's dress. <laughs> Isn't it pretty? It's so pretty. I mean, this was so much fun, you guys.
And of course, every day of Vlogmas, we have to do the Disney Advent Calendar. And we actually got another one, the one that we showed you at Walmart, <laughs> the storybook one. So we're going to do two days for the Disney 100 storybook one since um, we got it for, you know, the second day. So we got to play catch up, essentially, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so, okay, let's see what we have in this one. If you'll remember, yesterday we had Donald Duck. So... We have to find the next day here. 24. Okay. 24. Two. Huh? Two? Two. Oh, shoot. Two. That's right. Two. two. We need two. two. I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, I want to go the wrong way. <laughs> two. We started with one, so we need two. two. That's right. Oh. Crisis averted, thank you, wifey. You're welcome. It's like Christmas Eve, it's Christmas Eve. Oh, I want it to be Christmas. Okay, where's two? Me. Thank you. Yep. Two. Hot diggity. Can't wait to see. What is this? I think it's a sticker. Pretty sure it's a sticker. And Whoa. it's Mickey and Minnie. Yay! On a ski thingy. If I can get it to focus on it so you can see it. Cool. Yeah, it's pretty cute. It's cute. All right. It almost looks like a temporary tattoo, but I don't think it is. It's I think it, I don't, that age group? I don't know. I think it's a sticker, but we'll see. We'll find out. <laughs> now let's do this one. We're going to do day one and day two. It's so exciting. Ooh, cute. So this is what it looks like on the inside. Of course, it's backwards, but you get the idea. <laughs> So let's see what we have for day one and two. Oh, and you just pull it out and it's like in a little envelope. That's cool. Neat. Okay, so day one is a little Alice in Wonderland book, a present for the queen. Pretty cool. That's going to be a little interesting read. It has beautiful artwork. I love Alice's red coat. If you can see it, I don't know if it's going to focus, but that's the kind of coat I would have always wanted when I was a kid. Like, totally my vibe. Okay, number two. Let's see what book we have in there. And what we're planning to do with these is um, re-gift them to, you know, a child or somebody else. So um, they're not going to go to waste. <laughs> we're going to pass them on, spread the good vibes, spread the holiday cheer. Yeah. So we'll have fun opening them and looking at them, and then we're going to give them to other people. It'll be fun. All right, cool. And then day two is an onward book. Oh, neat. I would have never guessed that. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Again, good artwork. It looks like it's just the story of the movie, I think. Super cool. I like the size of those books. They're cute. They would make really great stocking stuffers. Like they if turn we them into ornaments. Oh. <gasps> We and we them. could turn them into ornaments and give them to people. Hang it like oh, this. We can put them on the little cookie jars, honey. Yep. Oh Hang my like gosh. My jars. wife is such a Ooh. genius, you guys. She's a genius. This concludes Vlogmas day number two. I had an absolute blast creating our Disney Nutcrackers. And I am loving the Advent calendars. It's just 
I love the holidays. It's so much fun. I hope you guys are having fun and enjoying my content. Like I said, it's my very first Vlogmas, so, you know, this is all a new experience for me, and I want to make it as fun and unique for you guys as possible. So, yeah, let me know again in the comments down below if you had one of our blank nutcrackers and you had to create a Disney character nutcracker, what character would you pick and how would you make that character come to life on your nutcracker? I would love to know. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.